Uh, but I'm gonna talk like this because I like this light. Now, see? Yes, and then like... <clears throat> That's nice. I'm gonna keep it like this. Hi. So I'm Louise Kathleen and welcome to my channel. Okay, so this isn't usually where I do my recordings. This is different. This is my um, college pad. I don't even know what this means. College student that doesn't know what this means. I really don't know what that means. <laughs> to get straight into it, my last adventure was quite an interesting one. Um, I've always been really interested with cancer and I know that sounds kind of strange. When I found out that uh, cancer makes and distributes wigs to people with cancer free of charge to both children and adults, um, I was really interested in donating my hair. I, um, it's something I've always really wanted to do because I think that it is the one comforting element that can at least make you feel a little bit more comfortable. Because we also need to keep in mind that cancer just doesn't choose people, it just happens. It happens to kids, it happens to adults, it happens to older people. If you think about a little girl or a little boy who's just gone through all of this, doesn't quite understand, is totally changing and has the option to get a wig that just makes him feel a little bit more normal again. And it's because the treatment is so hard. The pressure of that makes one not feel beautiful. And I, that really, I think is the last thing that anyone needs to worry about when going through all of this, when having to fight a whole disease. Really fight for your life. The last thing that you should be worried about is if you look good or not. But within our social dynamic, that's how it works. People see your appearance first, and that is that is how it is. So naturally, anyone is going to feel self-conscious in that position. There's so much pressure around going through cancer. I felt like this was really something special that I could do for someone else. So without further ado, I'd like to show you my bald head. That's right, I look like Sinead O'Connor. There are really good cancer communities that create supportive events uh, for cancer, for cancer awareness, for cancer funding, and that you should join them because it's great. One of the events in particular is called The Power of Purple, which is a, a very nice event that cancer has organized. This event, is specially dedicated to cancer survivors, caretakers, families and those who have been lost to cancer. And it's actually a very beautiful and symbolic event because there are, are teams that then walk around a field for the duration of the program which is from 12 in the afternoon to 12 o'clock at night. That walk around the field symbolizes the journey and the fight that people go through with cancer. At night, around 8 o'clock, they do the Luminara. Everyone takes little paper lanterns that they've decorated, dedicating them to someone who has been lost to cancer, and they take the lantern and walk with the lantern around the field. That was a very, very sweet moment. So yeah, someone out there has got my hair, hopefully, by now. <laughs> and feels pretty and feels beautiful it's considering all that other baggage that they just have this one thing that is nice for them so that's my part that i did for cancer as i donated my hair so i have finally reached the event yay um super excited to do it super excited to shave my hair for cancer um yes Let's go do this! Yay! Yay!
So I just want to do this. We're going to go live on Facebook um, to my 5,000 uh, friends and bunch of followers on my page. In a business owned bank to see if it means to inspire or mad yourself. Why do you want to lose and come here and to look at fire? I see it. Louise, my father, what do you say? Okay, we are going to shave her hair to a number one. Okay. So that's incredible. And you have your countdown. So I want you guys to join in the countdown. I'm going to start at 10 and then count all the way down to one. And then shortly after one, <laughs> I'm just going to do the cutting. Okay, so let's do this. 10, 9, nine 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and go! Let's play some music. Get ready for this and make some noise! Smile to the camera, you've got a whole bunch of people watching. serious problem like the minute my hair got cut and I started touching it it was the nicest feeling ever and I can't stop and I just want to rub my head all the time because it feels so nice <laughs> That's how we fight back. There are big ways of fighting back, and then there are little ways of fighting back. Every lap that we've taken around here tonight, every hug, every tear, every smile, every pat on the back, it's fighting back, and we're not going to stop. Thank you. Shaved my hair off. It's all off. Um, shaved it 
to a number one. I've yeah, shaved off my hair. I love it. It feels really nice. It was a really cool experience. I would do it again. Having your head shaved is really cool and I love it. I think it's the best thing ever. And yeah, just do it. Change someone's life. You know, you're not gonna change someone's life, okay? But just help someone feel beautiful again. That's it. Just support them as best you can. And that is by donating your hair and making them feel comfy again. Yeah. Yeah. Also to just raise more awareness, like realistic awareness, like not put a pink heart as my status to represent breast cancer, like awareness of healthier living. That's it for me from South Africa. Have a good one.